What's up guys? Welcome back to another metal casting video. And in today's video, I'm going to be replicating one of these. I made this probably a good four years ago. I have made a few more, two in aluminum, one in aluminum bronze. Uh, they all came out really good, but I haven't made this in a while and I really like the pattern that I designed. So I'm going to make, I'm going to make one or two more today out of aluminum. But um, Happy New Year, everybody. I do want to say Happy New Year. Uh, I got something new for Christmas. I got a new drill press for Christmas. I'm going to be unboxing that later, setting it up. It's a bench top drill press, so that's pretty cool. I need one of those. Um, I just recently got some, some new talcum powder for metal casting. So I put this bag of talcum powder, well, some of the talcum powder that's in this bag, into my original baby powder talcum powder container so we're just going to use this today to sprinkle onto the pattern as well as the green sand and hopefully this works just as good and it should talcum powder is talcum powder so it should work pretty good uh, and once again this is what we're going to be making today a copy or replica of this if you guys missed last week's metal cast i replicated two of these I think they came out fantastic. And here are the cutoffs from last week's cast. So I will be remelting these down as well. Guys, as I said, I just got a new drill press. This is the WEN 12 inch variable speed drill press for my bench. So it will fit perfectly in my garage when I get it set up. And like I said, I will be doing that later on. Maybe I'll show it at the end of the video. We'll see. But this is my new drill press. Pretty excited for it. I definitely needed it. So now I have my own. Instead of using someone else's, it's my drill press. And for today's metal melt, because it's going to be inside of my garage, I'm going to be using the Vivor Electric melting furnace that I have here. With a graphite crucible, the newer crucibles when purchasing these, I don't know what they're made out of, but they, I don't think they're graphite. I don't know how well they work, but if you guys are interested in grabbing one of these, the newer model, check out the description below for an affiliate link. So for today's casting flask, I'm probably going to be using one of these, one of these or probably both of these homemade casting flasks that I made out of some one inch scrap wood here. Uh, pretty self-explanatory when you guys get to see how I, how I put the mold together, um, but those those will fit perfect. Obviously, these are too small for the pattern to fit into. Um, I did use them last week. The pattern just barely fit, but they worked perfectly for them. Uh, but today I'm going to be using these. So let's get right to metal casting, guys. Well, before we start putting together the sand mold, I need to start the furnace. We're going to be melting down some of these aluminum ingots that I have. The one's going to be the, the cutoff from last week. And I'm also going to be melting down this aluminum ingot that I have here. So we're going to load that into the furnace. Once that's melted down, that's probably when I'll add this. Or, nah, I'll just add it now. So we'll put that in, start the furnace. we got to make sure we hit the P, because this furnace actually will not heat up until I see an equal sign right next to it. That means this is heating up. So now we're gonna get this started, or I should say, now that we got this started, now let's go start putting together the sand mold.
All right, guys, I'm all set up here. I got the, the green sand mold here. I did surround the work area with some dry sand just in case I have a spill, you know, because it is a wooden bench top. So I think that'd be safe to do, I think, uh, just in case. We are at 912 degrees Celsius. The aluminum is now molten. And uh, yeah, we're ready to do the first pour. So that pour seemed to go pretty well, as expected. And I have to melt down some more aluminum. This one here is from some can tops that I have here. Uh, this one, I don't know, it's miscellaneous aluminum, I suppose. And we'll throw this in there to have enough aluminum for the next cast. So I'm gonna put together another one of these mold boxes while I wait for this aluminum to melt down, which shouldn't take very long because this is already pretty hot. So I'm gonna load the furnace and we're gonna make another mold and we'll get right to the next pour. All right, guys, we are all set up. My second mold is all ready to go. We are at 842 degrees Celsius. The aluminum should be ready to go. And it's molten. So let's get right to the second pour of the day. that is it for today's metal cast this is what we have here after i sanded up the edges cut off the sprue which if anybody was wondering here is the sprue i used 240 grit sanding paper to give the face of these each a shine i think they came out really good 
Let's get a weigh in on what these things weigh. All right, we have it on grams. So the first one is going to be 152 grams of aluminum. I'm going to say the other one is going to be the same, if not very close, because they are identical. 150 grams. We're now going to change it over to kilograms. We have 0.15 kilograms. We have 5.35 ounces and 0.336 pounds of aluminum, guys. These ingots are so cool. Let me know what you guys think of these in the comments below. If you guys are interested in one, I will be happy to sell one of these to you at a very reasonable price. It is just aluminum, but let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think. I do appreciate it. Smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.